at uh, their days at Penn State. A couple times. On, I think, two occasions, yeah. Seventeen and eighteen, and now they're set to compete. Winner here sees Kyle Dake. Final it's X. Good. It's pretty good. Underway, seventy-four kilogram finals in the white and red. That's Jason Nolf taking on Vincenzo Joseph in the blue. All nice right. low shot. He's in right away, but the hips and defense of Vincenzo Joseph. So everyone thinks about the inside trip, some of the upper body stuff, but for me, it's his powerful hips. How he's able to pop leg attacks off of his legs with such relative ease and that was a great opening attack now an underhook here from Jason off but that's not the first attack that's not the last attack he's gonna have to defend here is we see a passivity warning already against Vincenzo Joseph yeah 30 37 seconds in passivity call it just goes to show the pace that Jason Nolf brings Nolf definitely more known for his leg attacks than Vincenzo Joseph, but Chenzo's knee pull single is lightning fast, extremely effective. There's a low ankle shot, and he pops his head to the outside. Ooh. Those are Chenzo's points, and Jason Nolf's in trouble. Oh, he fights off his back there. Just two. We thought that might be four, but I think Nolf was on his knees for that finish, so just a two-pointer there. Maybe it's just the way. I look like a giant smile on Vincenzo's face going through that sequence. Maybe it's just his, his mouth came open, but... He's a smiley like guy. A so they they do go four. Yeah. Assume that was a feet to back straight four because initially they just had two on the scoreboard. What a counter there from Vincenzo Joseph, but with Jason off down four, not the biggest deal. And those are the hips you're talking about. Yes. He slung his hips right over the top. I mean, he was in on that double and, and lifting. He started on the single, popped his head to the outside and was coming up. A great defense from Vincenzo Joseph. Another shot attempt here from Jason Nolf. Head position there for Nolf. Underhook for Chenzo. He's back in on that ankle. Well defended by Vincenzo Joseph. And there's a duck, but time. They go to uh, passivity against Nolf. Vincenzo Joseph trained at Arizona State with the Sunkiss Kids, Mark Perry, and Frank Molinero in his corner. Molinero was one of Vincenzo's coaches at Penn State previously. Four seconds to go here in the period, and Nolf yet to score. How often does this happen where, you know, we're 30 seconds to go in the first and he hasn't scored? Period's not over yet, Bader, but we'll see. Underhook on that right side for Vincenzo Joseph, a great head position there for Jason Nolf. Now 20 remaining, and they're just kind of hanging in this underhook position. The official blows it dead, 18 to go. And Nolf's fearless, He'll, he's not afraid to go in again, and go in he does, he comes up with a seat belt, great hips, but maybe can he come to a body lock? Five seconds remaining here. Running out of time in this period is Jason Nolf. Trying to lift and get the step out. I think he ran out of time, no points. 4-0 Chenzo at the break. This will be an upset, Bader. Absolutely, and again, those hips. You know, Nolf keeps getting in deep, and it's like the hips of Vincenzo are what's keeping him from scoring. And Jason Nolf made it to Final X last year and was able to score a takedown against Kyle Dake, which against most people, you, you don't cite a singular takedown as, as an actual relevant data point. But against Kyle Dake, that means a lot. Yeah, 4 nothing. Vincenzo Joseph in the lead as we head to the second period. And what does that say about Vincenzo Joseph's defense? That he's been able to thwart off four or five really strong attacks from Jason Nall. Yeah, one not just thwart off, but turn it into his own four. The ultimate thwart. Short offense here for Vincenzo Joseph, and they clear out of it. Now you wonder, can the pace of Nolf wear on Vincenzo Joseph? Another shot attempt here. You see Bo Nickel over in the corner for Jason Nolf, of course, U23 world champ. Hot peak to this body lock. It's a good position for Jason Nolf. Nothing, nothing here, yet. nothing here. 
He's trying to peel the That's got to be one and one for Caution sure. One. Caution one. So that's going to make it 4-2. One on the step out, one on the caution, one for back and straight out of bounds. But you take that over the alternative, which looked like he's going to get thrown to his back. So it's going to be 4-2. Vincenzo Joseph, a takedown for Nolfier is not going to be enough. He's going to need to get to a fifth point. But he kind of dropped hard to those knees, came up, come up with a body lock, almost put him down to his back, but... Vincenzo is like a, like a cat, just lands on his feet, was able to square up. Most people are going straight to their back in that position. And then he tried to stand up and cut away. Yeah, <laughs> a little fight in the hands. A little folk style uh, escape attempt. Minute 40 to go. Another shot. Head outside here, standing, trying to drive. Can he get it? That's oh, four cool. red. Four red, Jason Nolf. He's in the lead, 6 4, Bader. Just like that. Tides a turn and. We are seeing a fantastic set of finals. Coming. Right in again. Right in again. He's lifted. He must feel it. Four more. And can he go into a lace? 10-4. Jason Nolf in the lead. And this is that pace we were talking about, Bader. Now he's working hard on the gut. He has a great gut wrench working on it on the left side. Driving his feet. Vincenzo defends well. But now he is down by six points. Six-point lead for Jason Nolf. Ten unanswered points. And it's still a minute 20 to go. Nolf's not no. going to stop. And Vincenzo now in a good position here with this, this head pinch. Circling and squaring up. And good job by Jason Off squaring up and getting back up to his feet. And now he walks the tightrope of the edge. And now he's on the attack. I don't know. I thought that might be one. But no, they're saying they were both grounded. And that Chinzo was grounded. So no point coming. The action fast and furious here. Yeah. Don't be surprised if Nolf continues to attack. Jason's certainly grown since his collegiate days, where he was a 157 pounder. There's a shot, now looking re-attack is Jason Nolf, and there's gonna be one, no, let's see. White paddle by the judge and chair, they're saying grounded again. 42 seconds to go though, Nolf in the driver's seat here. Both these guys have spent time at 79 kilograms, but now made the move down to 74. They could get on Jason for something. Interlocking fingers, now they break free. There's a shot from Vincenzo Joseph, 27 seconds to go. And off looks like he's kind of shifted his intentions here. Just wants to be cautious and defend. Which could be a smart, tactic given the danger that Vincenzo Joseph presents. There's a double to single from Vincenzo Joseph, but a sprawl from Jason Nolf as he goes to a front headlock, and now with seven seconds to go, they'll go back to center. Six-point lead for Nolf. What a second period. Was it three matches in a row? Yes. They're going to hit Nolf for backing up. Hmm, I guess whatever. And with that is going to do it. What a second period from Jason Nolf. It was 4-0 Chinzo at the break. Nolf goes berserker mode. Score, <laughs> score, score. Just like a 30, 45 second run where he was just attack, attack, attack. And he put so many points on the board. Jason Nolf, Kyle Dake, final X, June 10th. The rematch is going to go down at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Get your tickets. Or you can watch live, of course, on Flow Wrestling. Look at Sideways Hat. What a cool dude. That's how Bader wears 